So the free store is a place where people can share things for free, um, items in your house that you no longer use that are in good condition. Uh, people donate them to the free store and then other people can come in and take them for free. You have to be a member to donate or shop. Membership is free with a brief orientation. Started uh, with a free community exchange three years ago. Um, we were looking for a place, me and a few friends were looking for a place to hold a free community exchange or swap event and we found the Catalyst Network of Communities and asked them if we could host one event and they asked us if we could host a monthly event because they liked the idea. Um, so this July will be our third year of doing the 710 swap. It's kind of like a potluck and rummage sale but with no money. Um, say you're looking for like a camera or say you're looking for someone to do a job, normally you'd have to pay for that. But if you were coming to something like this where you're, you know, ga where you're sharing things, you're kind of sharing ideas and connecting, you might just find someone who's willing to do it just because the idea of sharing. Environmentalism is really important to me and just the idea that we um, are stripping the earth of so many resources for literally materialistic and shallow purposes. Just the amount of um, just millions of pounds of clothes that we go through because of trends where we make new clothes and then discard them for really shallow reasons um, is something that I am trying to perpetuate people's uh, motivation away from. was in between jobs and um, when I was a kid she used to read this story called Mr. Myrtle's Large Heart about a little old man who ran a store kind of like this full of all the things that you can't really find anywhere else. So I thought it would be a good idea to open one down here since there were two up north. Um, one called Scrap, I think that's in San Francisco, and one called the East Bay Depot for creative reuse. We've been here just over five years. That, what I really love about it, about the depot, is that it kind of brings people together. It's a place for artists, it's a place for people who are into you know, environmental awareness. Um, everybody comes here. If, you, if you're into the whole green thing in Long Beach, you, you, this is like the destination point. You know, and when you talk about small businesses, or you talk about green economy, or you talk about community and making a difference in, in your own community, community, uh, I always tell people to stop by here first because Lisa has a board. Lisa makes sure that, you know, if you're new to town, you got at least, you're going to leave here with a stack of flyers of at least six, six nonprofits that you can give your time to or it has a cause that, that of people working together. Um, anything that involves people working together for a common cause, uh, Lisa knows everybody and that's kind of what her story is about. It's about, it's about connecting people. Um, and We have about 400 members and 12 organizations that all exchange um, resources and skills uh, using time credits as a complementary currency. I think that things like the time exchange are really important for Long Beach because we have such a diverse population with so many different skill sets and gifts and I think that a lot of times our market economy doesn't really give appropriate outlets for those or they might not say that those skills or gifts are valuable when in fact they really are. So.